Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your racy card reading. This isn't for everybody, maybe some people are easily offended. If so, please click off now because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or offend anybody. I just want to give a variety of readings and a variety of decks of cards. So, of course, this will be your racy card reading. If you're easily offended, please click off. Um, let's see what we have for you guys. So, if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe. Um, and to my lovely loyal subscribers, ah, thank you for standing by me, right? We've been here a few years now. I have three grandchildren now, <laughs> as we're talking about children. Um, you've been with me through it all, so thank you. Let's see, you guys, a lot of playful things coming your way. I always call this end of the year party season for some reason but it's saying here um you are ready to play playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so be playful you know never grow old always be young at heart right be playful children your love life is affected by children here some of you may get pregnant okay some of you may want to get pregnant if you don't be careful because your love life may involve children here. Some of you, maybe you can't get a sitter. <laughs> but let's see. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I do believe that this is, for me, a period of time, honeymoon. Um, and it's summertime here in England. So if it's summertime where you are, it's talking about this period of time. If it's not summertime where you are, um, it's talking when we reach summertime, you could find this very playful energy. I feel like this summer romance energy. You may want be wanting to get out and enjoy, you know, the summer nights and things like that. We have all been locked up for a while. So you just want to get out and explore here, I feel. Very playful, fun energy. You might even feel like a teenager at heart here because it always reminds me of this teenage love, um, you know, where you're sneaking out to see your lover here and, you know, it's all very exciting and the world just seems like a magical place where, you know, you have to find these secret places to meet each other. Let's see what's going on. The Wheel of Fortune. So if you're single, things are about to change here, okay? Some of you uh, may be experimenting um, with your sexuality too here, okay? The Wheel of Fortune things, something's about to get up. Temperance here. Um, yeah, this is because you are very tempting, very desirable here. Everybody's got their eyes on you. Look, it's not just um, one sex, it's both sexes here have got their eyes on you. Everybody wants a piece. And I guess it's because of that playful energy that you've got here. Very flirty, very playful energy coming in for you right now. Leo season may have you a new hairdo. Um, your hair looks fantastic, by the way. Very long. Maybe you've been in lockdown. If you've got long hair, you might want to get that waxed off. <laughs> Let's see. You might be coming out because it's summertime. Like, you know what? I'm going to take care of business now. The shops are open. <laughs> Yeah, this could be a Libra coming towards you as we have the Justice card jumping out here with the Three of Cups. But somebody definitely wants you. This is two people coming together, um, exploring each other, I feel, you know, um, inside, outside, everywhere you can. You just can't keep your hands off each other. And it seems like you're both enjoying it here. Um, and it's well deserved, I feel. The connection is very strong with the Justice card. Um, if you haven't met this person yet, um, when you meet them, it'll feel instant and they'll make you feel very youthful, um, very desired, very wanted. Um, with this, uh, it could be another Sagittarius here coming towards you as well, of course, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I feel like you'll be doing a lot of exciting things and um, maybe <clears throat> very lucky as well here. Maybe if you're, um, you know... You might just meet them by chance, I feel like. So it might be that you feel, oh, I'm, I feel lucky to have met you because they sort of raise your vibrations. Very playful, very touchy-feely. Um, all that kissing and flirting and what do they call it? Second base. <laughs> 
you know, that touching. It may be that you haven't taken it any further yet, but you're very excited to see what's to come with the Three of Cups there. Yeah. Happy news on the way. Again, that could be pregnancy here. So, um, be careful. If you're wanting to get pregnant um, and you found it difficult up until now, it's saying that, you know, you will definitely conceive in this time. So have fun trying. The chariot here, a new approach. So this is like destiny stepping in. So you're definitely meeting somebody you're supposed to meet. Um, if, if you've been single a long time, that's about to change. It's definitely like a destined meeting where this person excites your soul. Not just your body, your soul here. Everything you've desired, uh, everything that you've wanted is now coming towards you here. You find success with that chariot there. It could be that your partner was asleep uh, and they're now waking up with the chariot. It's saying, you know, you might have even took different paths for an uh, amount of time here, but it seems you are coming together. The lovers, yeah. Definitely you both want the same thing here. But this person cannot keep their eyes off you. It's like Cupid has shot the arrows at them. Um, it could be even be a Sagittarius for the cross watchers here that can't keep their eyes off them. So they're watching and trying to find an excuse to be with you every opportunity they get. So yeah, I see you guys, you know, meeting up and being very playful. Maybe you just bump into each other on everywhere you go. So you might just go shopping and they're there and, you know, you get on the bus and they're there. Um, it's because the angels are trying to bring you together here, this sort of destined meeting. Like I said, it might feel lucky or magical that you just bump into them. It's It'll feel like wow, what is this connection with temperance and the justice card? It seems like um, you've had a past life connection with this person. Temperance is the second highest uh, card for love after the lovers. So it could speak of somebody um, who left now wanting a second chance with you because they've now changed their mind with the Wheel of Fortune. They may have been asleep and have woke up to this connection. Um, but I feel you guys are very experimental in the bedroom here. Um, look, we can see whips. We can see other people involved. It doesn't have to be physically other people. Maybe you're watching some stuff, right? You just are very comfortable with each other and enjoy each other. Let's see. Yeah, three of swords. So be careful. <laughs> you might end up exploring or you know trying something that hurts you here <laughs> so just be careful about that okay three of swords there um i feel if it is somebody who wants a second chance um it's somebody who regret breaking your heart now they sort of seem to be everywhere you go or they go they're seeing signs like oh my god i keep seeing these threes every time i look at my watch it's three o'clock or it's three minutes past one o'clock, three minutes past two o'clock. I keep seeing these signs. What is it? So they're sort of waking up that way as well. There's a whole big shift coming here now. Ace of Pentacles. Uh, yeah. It's not just about, uh, you know, those passionate nights and those late night creeps. They want something real with you here. They want commitment. They want this connection to last here. Ace of Pentacles. This is a solid offer of commitment. You know, so if they set up this romantic night for you, I wouldn't be surprised if they say, hey, look, do you want to be together full time? Do you want to live together? All this creeping around we're doing is fantastic, but I want more here. So it's like they want more and more of you. The more they get, the more they want. The fool. So they're no longer afraid. They want to take a chance with you. With this snake here, somebody could be trying to make, uh, mess things up for you. But I feel like if you just take the chance and jump, something beautiful is going to catch you here. This is a new beginning. It starts off a whole new life path together. 
It could be that you've just met the person that you're going to marry here with the Justice card. Or it could be with Temperance, somebody wants a second chance and because they know they have to prove themselves, they come forward with an offer of marriage or something here. Ten of Swords, yeah, the worst of it is over. So it's like um, you've reached the peak of the mountain of these difficult times. You've spent all this time alone. Um, you could have even been betrayed, but the worst of it now, you're at the peak. It's time for um, the next step, which would be um, the Ace of Swords, communication, okay? So this is an end of a cycle. The same what we saw with the wheel. We start the reading with a huge change and it leading to something much more beautiful and positive and committed here. It might be that you feel like every time um, you know, I get into this relationship, I'll fall for somebody, um, you know, it ends up me crying. But no, put that, that's the past. Let it go. You're not going to be crying this time. This is beautiful. Enjoy it. You may end up having children and marrying this person. When you've met them, you'll feel it. It'll feel instant. Good luck, guys.